Hey guys, on here, welcome back for episode nine of Shogun. This is the penultimate episode of the season, Crimson Sky. I think that title alone answers some of our questions from the previous episode. So let's go ahead and hop in. If you want to see the full reaction, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummer Channel, I'll get you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind the scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while. So you're going to be support channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I really appreciate it. Enjoy this reaction. To least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. That all said all the way. Let's go ahead and hop into episode nine. Here we. Oh, what is this nightmare fuel? What the hell? Fourteen years ago. I do like this guy. I do think out of all the people we've seen from the church, he seems to be one of the good guys. At least that they feel like his heart's in the right place. You know, I've never known why the whole friar thing, like, they shave their head like that. I'd love to know if any of you guys have some information on that. I know I could just look that up, but I trust you guys. Why did he send you here? You're simply traveling to Osaka at the same time. Okay. <laughs> you were instructed to stay close once you were met by Ishido Sama's men. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you do, buddy. Shit's been haunting you the entire season. Everyone in the castle is now a hostage to Ishido Sama. If a member from every noble family is trapped here, none can oppose him. Man's a fucking coward, man. <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. When I deliver to you the Catholic gold, you won't regret it. <laughs> no. Whole <laughs> escort and the lady translator too. Toronaga is planning something. We've got to find out what it is. Toronaga has given up. You are blind to their trickery. His most loyal vassal killed himself right in front of him. If John It's Blackstone working. Him, it is it's working he's on trying to find his own way out. Tempest in the bottle. Yeah. He knows. He knows all too well. War is coming. He wants everybody to believe absolutely that he's given up. And everything else sells that image. But Mariko's the thing that kind of shows his hand a little bit. No. <laughs> <laughs> These two working together? I like it. It's fun. I gotta tell you, Yabashiga has probably been one of the most entertaining aspects of the show. Adds a little needed levity to everything that's going on. Good evening. I didn't know he spoke Portuguese. I was gonna say English. Which comes first, God or your purse strings? I don't trouble myself too much with the matters of faith. I am, however, a student of trade. Hey, he's being honest. We have a quite enough pirates, merchants in this country already. Your kind arrived here too late. My kind? I am not a pirate. <laughs> That's what people keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> ロシュに幸福いたしますまた太鼓殿下の素晴らしきお方様のご請求には心よりお見申し上げます拙者の首をお望みとあらばさし上げましょうしかしその前にまずは拙者の三つ着物を見てくださいませんか暗示殿はか
よう大阪に戻られたマリコ殿落ち葉の方様との喜ばしい縁組お祝い申し上げまする So they went through with it そなたに会えると嬉しい限りじゃマリコ殿お久しゅうござりますの10代の頃以来でござりまするマリコ殿と私は安土城で何年も一緒に過ごしたのじゃ歌会でよく競い合ったのを覚えておられるか覚えておりまするこたび大王院様を忍んで歌会を開くことになっておる Rap battle 雪ながら夕べにかすむカレーかな見事じゃ少々うら寂しいがのこれで我らにも楽しみができましたこの頃は死に人だの無本だのの話ばかりじゃったからの恐れながら歌会はご遠慮申し上げまする明日キリの方シズの方と共に大阪を立ちまするゆえどこへ行かれるおつもりじゃマリコ殿<笑>江戸におられる殿のところにございまする私はお二方の友を務めるよう申しつかれましたやつはあ Yeah, he's like a little disarmed by this news. この私事については別の機会に話そうではありませぬかいずれまたありがたきお言葉ですがその必要はござりませぬ私は期日までに我が殿と共に大阪に戻ってまいりまする私たちがここで囚われているのではない限り Nice little play. ここに囚われのものだとおらぬ He'd have to publicly admit what he's doing here かように悪意のある言い方をなさるのであれば大老衆の戦議にかけるのがわしの責務であろう。木山殿その子はどう思われるどういたしまするマリコ殿にはそれまでここにとどまっていただく。光栄にござりまする。This is, this is gotta be the expected move. されど、私の第一の務めは我が殿にお仕えすることであり。その殿から出達するよう申しつかりました出達は一刻も遅らせることはできませんこの件はもうしまいじゃこの件をしまいにするのは私の話を最後まで聞いてからにしてくださりませ<笑> Let's go 私は踏みつけにされる小作人ではござりませぬ千年続く侍の末裔として私はどこに閉じ込められることも人質になることも囚われることもありませぬ私はいつでも出ていけまする他のどなた様とも同じように I see what she's doing No, this is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing to discuss. You are absolutely correct, sir. Dude, oh, what? Dude, <laughs> that pot stirred. <laughs> Dude, his feathers are so fucking ruffled right now. I love it. <laughs> is this body of yours stupid? <laughs> I need rest. I must leave in the morning. But you can't leave. They'll stop you, probably by force. Then Ishido sama would be admitting I remain here by force. As well as every lord and lady being kept prisoner in this castle. Yep. You'd walk into a sword just to prove the blade is sharp. But that also proves it to everybody else. You must not involve yourself. Can you do this? Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. Gosh, everybody's watching. Oh, you little bastards. Wow.
秋山様大野様この者たちに道を開けるよう命じてくださりますその者たちは我らの命は聞かぬ石蔵殿の配下じゃ我らは無力でござる我らの意に反してここに囚われていたということでございますね拙者が将棋の場を設けまする私は虎永様の家臣で明確な命を受けてまいりました主君に従うことをお認めいただかねばなりませぬ This is a bold fucking play, man. <laughs> oh. So now she's got a. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Maybe this will be enough to motivate some of these people to fucking stand up for themselves a little bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this a little slimy fuck. マリコ殿は言葉通りになさるはず。これはマリコ殿は言葉通りになさるはず。これはマリコ殿は言葉通りになさるはず。これはマリコ殿は言葉通りになさるはず。これはマリコ殿は言葉通りになさるはず。これは
Tum. It's not that easy. Or simple for that matter. This is bigger than both of them at the moment. Oh no. <sighs> Fuck. Your mind is set again? Yes, it is. I wish to be confessed. Then speak it here. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned, but I can only confess that I am not worthy to confess. Daughter of God, I wish I could say proper mass for you, but here we have no altar or vestments. Then let us drink cha from an empty cup. Yes, we have known each other. And for the little time that is left. Mm. He's going to have to do it, isn't he? I will do it. Hell is no place. I haven't already known. Let it from your mind. Please wait until I have fallen. Not to play semantics, but wouldn't the initial act still technically count? Oh, is this a smoke show? Or... What's happening? What's, what? Nice. Wow. What a save. What did Yabashiga have to do, though? There's got to be... What's the request? What's... Others are now going to ask to leave. I really thought we were going to go through with that for a hot minute there, man. did you have to make oh whoa oh no what's about to happen whose move is this is this his is this Ishido or what the fuck is going on man what was he told to do he is fucking assassin? Or let in assassins, yeah. Wow. Oh, fuck you, Yabashiga, man. God damn it. I was just talking you up earlier. Wow. Oh, whoa. Just killing everybody in here. Oh, hell yeah. 
僕たちの仕業です私たちを生かして返す気はないのですキャツラは白銃に潜り込んだ落ち着かに Listen ほどきなされ Nice Fucking Yabu over here playing both. God damn! Playing both sides over here. What a little weasel, man. Outside, there was a storehouse with heavy doors. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my god, man. Well, I mean, after all of that, after all of that, she finally, she finally found her way out, out of the games, out of everything, and not by having to take her own life, given she chose to hold the door, but it was by another's hand that she died. After all that, man, that's so heartbreaking, man. I was really hoping there was going to be a light at the end of the tunnel, regardless, but you know, it's this death, like she said, that will have meaning. It's this action, this slight, this play that's going to bring things to light, or at least maybe even spark the fire this city needs or these people need to fucking fight back after everything. But man, you know, I know Yabu's been this slimy little guy we've been you know, following on his little teeter-totter of life, trying to play every side, every angle to, to benefit himself. But I was really starting to think that maybe at the end of the day, he was going to just be, I mean, I probably shouldn't have, but I thought he'd be somebody who we'd eventually find on our side. But then yet again, Ishido tested his loyalty and he let these assassins into the castle so that they could get to to Mariko. But then look at that. Look at that. What look what it was going to happen though. He was going to be taken out alongside them regardless. This, at least in this situation. He got cattled into this box even though he let them in, took out the watch, sounded the alarm, pretended to be attacked and kept this whole facade up again to keep them trusting him to not break and blow his cover. God damn it, man. He's fun to watch. He really is. But I was really, I was really hoping for a, a a better turn in the end. But I'm wondering how this is gonna come out. I'm sure he didn't plan to be boxed in a hole here and then exploded. I love though, just the build in this episode, because it was all you know slowly crescendoing to this climax, to this eventuality, and then just for a second. They edged us for us for a minute by, you know, cutting us off right there when we thought the blow was going to come, disarmed us, and then gave it to us again unexpectedly at the end of the episode, giving us a sigh of relief and then catching us when we weren't looking. But I liked all the interactions with uh, Blackthorn and Mariko in this, especially when, with everything that's going on, everything he's seen, and everything she's about to put herself through when Kishiyama didn't show up to help escort her into the afterlife, to help spare her damnation, you know, for her Christian beliefs, you know, because if she went through with the seppuku, just all on its own, you know, she'd be condemned to hell. But on orders, and like he even admitted to Blackthorn himself, it's not the faith he's in it, he's a man of trade. All of this is, is a performance to just elevate himself and give himself power. He doesn't care about the faith aspect of it, and he's too much of a coward to, much like with the other ones, to stand up against Ishido. And when he was commanded not to go through with it, he wasn't there. 
So that fear in her eyes when she was thinking that was like, well, I, I gave my word, I gotta go through on this and believing at the same time that she'd be condemned to hell after that. For him to acknowledge that, not as a Catholic, but as a fellow Christian, went in there to second her. And then they got to share one final night of, you know, passion before all of this happened, man. It's just bleak. Bleak, bleak, bleak. I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode. I, I don't know what exactly Crimson Sky was, but I imagined, you know, Crimson Sky, Red Skies... Of the two things that came to mind, either it's going to rain blood or rain fire. Those were the two things I was thinking, and I thought eventually it was going to be this assault, full-out assault on Osaka. And maybe that is still coming. Maybe this is all a disarming tactic or a distraction or at least a motivating factor, again, to maybe incite, especially with her death now and this, this bold play by Ishido to just really undermine everything that she had done, Hopefully that backfires and even expires treachery from within and defection, or at least shatters the, or weakens their alliance together to leave them open for attack. But man, the sacrifices we had to make in these last two episodes to just get the stage set, it's fucking, I, I don't even know what to say. I don't really have the words for it. The sacrifices that are made to make sure that all of this goes through and these tyrants are thrown out of whack. These corrupt politicians are dethroned. I don't know, man. I, I really don't know what to expect going forward into this, this final episode. But the show's been fantastic. Beautiful. Especially in this, this one. There's a lot of really great little shots as we are lingering on these moments as... We're building this kind of like looming dread or this forlorn kind of melancholy as the future is coming a little closer and closer and closer or rather the darkness or the lack there of a future i really you know as much as she was pining for death the entire time i thought she would finally maybe find meaning in life but you know, hopefully she finds meaning in this sacrifice you know speaking of their christian ties i did like that we kind of got that little sidebar with the catholics as we had the younger guy who's been a friend of tornaga and her for a long time now He's very naive, innocent, and he, honestly, his heart's always kind of been in the right place. Then we have this older, the guy that's kind of been controlling everything around here, who sees through the veil, the the performance that Toronaga's putting on. You know, he believes it. He thinks it's all genuine, but that's exactly the point. All these things that are happening and his willful belief and hopefulness in the honesty of everybody and everything that's going on, he thinks it's genuine, and that's the whole point is for everybody to think that Toronaga is just up north pining and mourning and not making any kind of place at all. But we see like the two different perspectives, you know, the, the one where it's working and then the one who finds it all very weird and suspicious. Are probably very familiar with playing that game themselves. You know, then we had that whole game with them trying to prove to everybody that they are in fact prisoners here, hostages, whatever, whatever the public perception, which they're trying to say, it was like, nobody here's a prisoner, nobody at all. No, she had to be like, hey, I'm ordered to leave here. I'm going to leave and force their hands. Like, are you gonna let me leave? Or are you gonna prove that yes, indeed, this is in fact a prison and their hand was showed. And it, again, it's just this whole like back and forth, this exchange, this chess match that is going on between Ishido and Toronaga from afar is just brilliantly executed within the show. It's so fucking good. This is this is good goddamn television. But guys, that's kind of all I got at the moment. This episode left me pretty gobsmacked by the end of it. So I'm gonna pass it off to you guys now. So sound off the comments, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if not already. Remember, if you see the full length reaction, you can check it out over on Patreon or if you come here on the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan, Karen, Yorick, Scott, Melita, Robert, Anguiano, Jeffrey Hale, Jake Cantrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, Justin Smith, Amy Becca, and Brendan Boyd. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.